This is Life Matters with Brian Johnston. Brian Johnston has been a teacher and a coach, a legislative advocate, what's sometimes called a lobbyist, a husband and a father. He has committed himself to affirming the value and significance of each human life, even the seemingly insignificant. Brian Johnston is served in many capacities while advocating for innocent lives, as the Western Director of the National Right to Life Committee, as California Commissioner on Aging, as Chairman of the California Pro-Life Council, on the board of the National Legal Center for the Medically Dependent and Disabled. And now here's our host, Brian Johnston. Welcome back to Life Matters. I'm your host, Brian Johnston, and this Life Matters is a very important one. You know, Life Matters is dedicated to respecting and underscoring the right to life of every individual, that God-given gift, which our founders in America established as an essential premise, the right to life, that it is an inalienable right. And all of our other rights emanate from that. We are unique human beings made in the image of God. And because of that, the government has a duty, a responsibility to ensure this right, the right to life. And so we talk about that at length in this program. And if you're a regular listener, this is a special edition of Life Matters. By the year 2024, Life Matters has been airing 37 years. We started in 1987 on one station, KCBC, in Northern California, which broadcasts just outside of Modesto, California, a very rural broadcast station. It's very powerful. It hit all of the San Francisco Bay Area, most of Northern California, a 50,000-watt flamethrower of information and truth. So KCBC was our start. It's part of the BOT radio network. Since then, we've been on other BOT channels, and Dick Bot Sr. was a good friend and helped us along. He's now passed away, and his son, Dick Bott Jr., another great man. But the Bot Radio Network first got us going. We're now on many other allied networks to the Life Matters Radio Network. We have many other allies. The Wilkins Radio Network is a nationwide Christian network that also carries our Life Matters programming. And, of course, Salem Radio. Many of you catch us on Salem Radio because Salem is really speaking not just to Christians, but more importantly, to society. And so there's many talk stations that talk about public policy issues, because that's what the legal right to life is. When you talk about a right, you're talking about a legal right. And that means that we have to talk about policy. And if you talk about policy, when it comes to legal rights, you're talking about political questions. Many people are confused on the politics of the right to life debate. We try to bring clarity to that. So we're now on many different networks, both Christian and conservative talk. We're also international. Many of you now listen internationally via shortwave radio. Now, Americans aren't familiar with shortwave radio. I am. My folks came from Ireland and in other parts of the world. Shortwave radio is very, very popular, particularly at night. Because the short wave in the short wave radio bandwidth actually travels better at night and it bounces off the atmosphere. So the antennas are often directed to the atmosphere and that then bounces and you can hear something that's coming from 10,000 miles away. Short wave is an extraordinary form of radio communication and it's something that Marconi himself, when he designed radio, was well aware of the differences in wavelengths. So in America, we have medium wave, which is AM, we have FM, but typically short wave, if you travel internationally, a lot of the car rentals you might get will have the three different bands, short wave, medium wave, and FM. And so we're on all of those bands, and in particular in Europe and North Africa and chunks of Asia, you can hear Life Matters Radio on the Christian Broadcast Network, broadcasting out of Ireland and just outside of Milan, Italy, is where they have their antennas. So we're heard all over. I also want to make a distinction. There is another radio program called Life Matters, 
And in fact, there's quite a few different ones, but the big one is broadcast from Australia and it's part of ABC. Now, in America, you think that's the American Broadcasting Company. In Australia, it's the Australian Broadcasting Company. And they have a very interesting program, Life Matters, from the ABC network. And it's an intriguing, but it's very, very Australian. And if you like things Australian, then you should listen to that. But it's all over the map, and I'm not endorsing the ideology behind it because it's a government-owned entity, and there's been many aspects of the Australian government that you might be uncomfortable with. So, But that is the other Life Matters on ABC. It's international. But let me get to the third aspect of who we are, because we're not simply a radio program or a blog. You can see the notes of what we discuss online when you go to lifematters.life. So we write up a lot of this stuff as well, and you can read it in depth. There's lots of links to empower you with understanding. Our goal is that you would understand the depth and breadth and height and width of the issues we talk about. Don't be a casual inquirer. Be earnestly interested in the facts of life and apply yourself to that, and we want to equip you to do that. But you can find out about us at lifematters.life. And there are other programs also. There are local programs in the United States on local stations that are fine. They're called Life Matters, but they're not us. And they tend to be from a local radio station in Wisconsin and a couple that talks about lifestyle and home economics issues. They're talking about generic life in your friends and family. They don't touch on the right to life issue. They don't touch on political or philosophical or deeper thinking issues that impact all of society. They talk about the day to day. By the way, day to day life is pretty important. You want to stay rooted in that. I'm not down talking them. We love taking care of our home and family, but there are smaller shows like that that pepper the nation and the radio airwaves, but this is the only life matters with Brian Johnston. So we focus on, as you know, the legal right to life as established by America's founders and in our founding documents. And we know that every innocent life must be protected under the law and that no one shall be denied life, liberty, or property without due process of law. It's a legal matter. It's a legal matter issue when it comes to protecting life. So we want to equip you with that. Now, many of you know my background, and I want to tell you about an additional website about me. That's right. I'm the host, and you need to know more about me. Many people have called and asked if I would come and speak, if I would be part of their local event. And I'm also, if I'm available, very glad to do that. If I'm free and I can get there, I'm here to serve you. But we're going to have you go to a new website, brianjohnston.net. That's B-R-I-A-N-J-O-H-N-S-T-O-N.net. And there you're going to find out a little bit about me. Just a little, just enough that you need to know because I don't want to overwhelm you. (laughs) I'm not going to tell you about my last trip to South Africa, although... I did have a great trip to South Africa to protect life there, and I was very deeply honored and lived for two weeks with the Zulus in KwaZulu-Natal. It was a great trip, but it actually is very much about the right to life. But that's just one adventure or misadventure of mine. At brianjohnston.net, you can see what my schedule is and find out if I'm free to speak at your local community group, at your church wherever you'd like to use me. You're also going to find links at brianjohnston.net to my books. Many of my books are available on Amazon and wherever fine books are sold, but also audiobooks. If you're listening now, you are an audio learner. And audiobooks, I believe, are very, very important. And this radio program has an iteration as a podcast as well. You might be listening to the podcast. So what we have at brianjohnston.net is a very specific dedication to what I am doing. I'm your host of this program, but what I'm doing is you can plug in 
You'll also find my blog posts because current events are very important. Many people are confused by many political decisions coming your way. The year 2024 is a political year, but I'll be honest with you, every year is a political year. Don't be deceived. Policy matters. It impacts your life. You need to understand the undergirding ideas that are at stake. And so, I do talk about those. I've been very honored in the past, and as you know, on this program, I stick to the right to life issue and its many implications. But I've had legislators call me personally and say, I'm looking at a bill. I know it's not a right to life bill, but there's something odd about it. Brian, what's your take on this? And so I'm very honored when someone does that. And if they're asking for my opinion, because as you'll see in my biography there at brianjohnston.net, I'm not just a right to life guy. I have a lot of depth and experience that's a bit far-reaching, and it's appreciated by others. And so you'll see blog posts on brianjohnston.net that may not be directly related to the right to life. But as I've said before, I believe the right to life to be the foundational, essential debate of our time and all of our other rights. Your right to be secure in your person, papers, and property. Well, that's emanating from your right to be alive, the fact that you are valuable, your right to keep and bear arms, the Second Amendment. That emanates from your right to defend your life from miscreants, your right to defend your home. There's an old saying, and it's actually related to common law, but it's related to Western civilization's principles which have undergird the right to life, and that is a man's home is his castle. So that individual has the right to live in safety, and that's really because they're a unique individual, and others should not be free to harm them at their will. And that's what the Second Amendment is about, but it's because every individual is unique and has that right to be alive and to protect their life and the lives of others. So it's easy to see how other issues may emanate, and you may think of them as tangential to the right to life, but the right to life, in my perspective, is the essential premise for Western Civ, and that will be lost if we lose the right to life fight. So back to brianjohnston.net. If you want to have me come and speak, or if you just want to see some of my books, or if you want to plug into other audio aspects of what we do at Team Johnston, also current events, always commenting on current events so you have a better take on what's coming at you because you're in a battle. You're in a war. And if you're not equipped for the battle, if you're not training your mind for this war, you're going to lose. I guarantee it. Because the media addresses itself to misleading you, to making you lose, to lying to you. The generic media is extremely dangerous, and they do not have your best interest at heart when they give you ideas to chew on. So we want to try to address that and fix that. So that's brianjohnston.net. Go there if you want to have me come and speak. We're going to talk about more of that coming up. Life Matters continues after this. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, CEO of MyPillow. I support this show, and I would like to offer you our biggest discounts for listening. So please go to our website, MyPillow.com, and put in the promo code at the end of this message to get the biggest discounts. Again, thanks for listening, and God bless. And that promo code is LIFE, all caps, L-I-F-E, LIFE. So go to MyPillow, put in the promo code LIFE, and you'll get some wonderful discounts because Mike Lindell believes in you and in Life Matters. You know about our car donation program at California Pro-Life. We use one of the most respected programs in the nation. Go to the California Pro-Life page, californiaprolife.org. Scroll to the bottom and click on Donate My Car. It's that easy. 
Did you know you can also donate any vehicle, boat, motorhome, or even personal property? If you are nearing retirement age, you can also get a tax deduction by earmarking a portion of your upcoming compulsory distributions from your 401k. Just email us for information. California Pro-Life is fighting to equip California Pro-Lifers with understanding and the tools to again protect the unborn and other vulnerable innocents. Thank you for your help in this battle. Go to CaliforniaProLife.org. That's CaliforniaProLife.org for more information. And now back to more Life Matters with Brian Johnston. Let me talk about some of the incredible sponsors we've had over the years. One, of course, is The Pillow Guy. Yeah, Mike Lindell. Everybody loves Mike Lindell. He gets out into the public, and uh, he's, he's one of our sponsors. We're very honored that Mike Lindell sponsors us because he sees life as the essential issue of our time. So if you go to the Pillow Guy, to Mike Lindell's stores, and put in promo code LIFE, just capital L-I-F-E, he's going to give you the best discount. He is going to help life matters. He's also going to help you with a great discount. So we really appreciate life matters support from Mike Lindell, the pillow guy, and use promo code LIFE. Another, in fact, it's our principal sponsor throughout our history. Again, started in 1987, California Pro-Life Council, CaliforniaProLife.org. California Pro-Life has sponsored Life Matters. And even though we are now not just California and not just the West, we're nationwide, and the issues we touch on apply to you where you live and to the life issue where you are. And as I said, we're worldwide, not just because I have traveled a lot of places in this crazy world, but we're broadcast worldwide through shortwave, but also through podcasting. But California Pro-Life was our originating sponsor. They are a very, very wonderful organization. So go to CaliforniaProLife.org, and you're going to get a lot of information about California's struggles and the struggle to protect innocent life in California. One of the sponsors that we have, and it's through California Pro-Life, but it's actually a nationwide helper for you, and that's Car Easy. So if you have a car, a boat, a motorcycle, a truck, a motorhome that either you can't sell or you're not getting the trade-in value you expected. Car Easy is going to get you that. Wherever you are, if you're in Florida, if you're in Missouri, if you're in Washington, D.C., if you're in Maine, Car Easy is a team, nationwide team of people who are into cars and know how to fix cars. They are a nonprofit. And they get the highest possible value for that car. So when you donate your car, I had an incredible car donated to California Pro-Life. I almost wish, oh, I wish you donated to me. There's some amazing cars, but sometimes they don't run right and you don't get your trade-in value. Car Easy gets them to run right and then sells them for the highest possible price. And they share that income with us. You get the tax deduction of that high value. That's very important. That's car easy. And you can go to California Pro-Life and put in California Pro-Life dot car easy, C-A-R-E-A-S-Y, car easy dot org. And you will see how easy it is. Wherever you are in the nation, you can dedicate your car, your older car, vehicle, boat, motorcycle, motorhome, and get the highest possible credit for a tax deduction by going to CaliforniaProLife.CarEasy.org, and that's going to benefit Life Matters. So not only has California Pro-Life been one of our great sponsors over the years, again, more than 37 years, but Car Easy now allows you to help both California Pro-Life and Life Matters with your old clunker or maybe it's a newer clunker. I actually once owned a newer clunker, but that's another story. We're going to come back in just a little bit. we we'll go into all of that when we come back on Life Matters. 
Life Matters continues after this. Hi, I'm Kevin Sorbo, and I was very excited when I heard about LifeFest Film Festival. LifeFest is the film festival dedicated to showcasing films that affirm the intrinsic worth of innocent human life and the profound significance of each life. I know one of your prizes is the Capra Award, awarded to that production that best reflects Frank Capra's thematic ideal. One seemingly insignificant person can in fact change the whole world in which he or she lives. That one singular life ends up being of vital importance. I'm so glad to hear that you are cherishing that in this film festival and are committed to artfully and creatively protect the lives of those who can't possibly promote themselves. They are dependent on the love and goodwill of people like you to speak on their behalf. Well done. Find out about the exciting cultural change impacting Hollywood. Go to lifefilmfest.com. Life Matters is sponsored by the California Pro-Life Council, the state affiliate of the National Right to Life Committee. To find out more on how you can help and be involved right where you are, go to californiaprolife.org. That's californiaprolife.org. We'll tell you how you can get involved in your local community, how you can be effective if you want to be a pro-life speaker. We have training programs and open doors of opportunity for you to speak on the life issue. If you'd like to donate your car or a boat, you can do that at californiaprolife.org. Car easy makes it easy and you find that on our website we get the most of any donation program car easy allows us to get the most out of your car maybe you're not getting the trade-in value you want maybe it's just not running the way it used to let your car be used for life go to californiaprolife.org and find out what you can do to make a difference californiaprolife.org be sure to subscribe to the life matters podcast with brian johnston go to lifematters.life to subscribe and now back to more Life Matters with Brian Johnston. Welcome back to Life Matters Radio. We've been talking about some of the sponsors we've had over the years. One of our great sponsors, and we're glad to work with, I was involved personally in helping get it off the ground, and that is Life Fest Film Festival. That's Life Fest Film Festival. If you go to lifefilmfest.com, that's lifefilmfest.com, you're going to be able to, from your own home, see some of the cutting-edge new productions by new filmmakers coming into Hollywood. Many of you know that I have a background in the entertainment industry. For many years, I worked for an entertainment law firm in Los Angeles, Simon Sheridan, Murphy, Thornton, and Heinerfeld, at 2404 Wilshire Boulevard. And I learned a lot about the entertainment industry there, but I also, as an avocation, some of you know that I'm a ham. And yes, as an avocation, I do act. And by the way, so did Bill Rehnquist. Justice Bill Rehnquist would do summer stock Shakespeare and just summer stock acting while he was still on the bench as a Supreme Court justice. So acting, you might know, of course, that Hollywood's kind of a weird place, Holly weird, but not all actors are weird. There's a lot of things to be learned through the entertainment and acting industry. And I believe that film and movies are a more powerful way of reaching people than even this format of radio, and sometimes more than reading. Because what people do is they'll go into a movie theater for entertainment, and all the emotion, all of the music, all of the story that they're immersed in is superimposed on them. They're not using even their own thinking. If you read a book, you are personally visualizing. I believe reading is very important. But the moving image has become the new literature, not only for America, but for the world. So the moving image and Life Fest Film Festival is dedicated to taking back Hollywood. And the basic premise of Life Film Fest is to honor the seemingly insignificant life and the very nature of that life as being very, very important. So it's a unique take on human life. It's a unique take on storytelling, but it's a very, very important message. It's the heart of storytelling, if you think about it, that every life is significant, and in particular, the seemingly insignificant life. And that's you and me. Your life is significant. You may not feel like it, Life Fest tells those stories. Go to Life Fest. Go to lifefilmfest.com. 
and you can stream it in your home now. When we first started, we were down in Hollywood and we used various studios to project. And it's very hard to get people to come to a film festival because they have to travel. They have to get a hotel. They have to buy the tickets. You got to get what's called butts in seats. That's very hard to do because people have to make a huge commitment. Now you can go to lifefilmfest.com. There are hundreds. There's not only the 2024 winners, but Life Film Fest 25 is open for submissions and tell your filmmaker friends about Life Film Fest. They've been an excellent sponsor for this program, Life Matters. So we've told you a lot. We haven't told you everything, but you're listening to Life Matters Radio, or perhaps you're listening to our podcast. You can find out more at lifematters.life. You can find out more about me at brianjohnston.net, and you can read any of my books or listen to any of my audiobooks. You can also read some of the current events that are very important to have a grasp on at brianjohnston.net. And remember, your life matters because it's a gift. And the government didn't give you that gift, but the government has a duty to protect your right to be alive. So go to lifematters.life, go to brianjohnston.net to find out more about me. And I want to thank you for your commitment to protect those who can't possibly protect themselves. I want to remind you of my book, Evil Twins, Roe and Doe, How the Supreme Court Unleashed Medical Killing, available on Amazon and wherever fine books are sold. I recommend getting the Kindle version because there's links to all the documenting evidence. This isn't because I say it. This is actually what reality is. Every pro-life and even pro-abortion legal expert admits Roe v. Wade makes no sense. It's actually Doe v. Bolton that unleashed doctors to kill a baby at any time whenever they want it. You need to find out those facts and they're documented. And the fact is, is we're not addressing the reality of legalized abortion. We want to help you understand this battle right now. You can get the audio version online. Evil Twins, Roe and Doe, How the Supreme Court Unleashed Medical Killing. You're going to come away from the book with a new understanding of what this battle is actually about. If you have questions or comments for Life Matters, call 800-924-2490. Give us your name and the town you're calling from and a quick question or comment. Find out about the exciting cultural change impacting Hollywood. Go to lifefilmfest.com. Learn more about everything in today's show online at lifematters.life, where you'll find all the resources you need to protect life. Life Matters is a production of the California Pro-Life Council.